Welcome to the Lives of Animals, a powerful discussion on the ethical treatment of animals. Animals can't speak for themselves. It's up to us to do it. Dr. J. M. Kotze. The Lives of Animals is a short novel written by South African-born Dr. John Maxwell Coetzee, or J. M. Coetzee, a novelist, linguist, essayist, activist, and translator. Renowned for his novels on the effects of colonization in Africa, his writings are in English, Afrikaans, and Dutch. Dr. J. M. Coetzee has been acclaimed internationally and received many awards for his work, including the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2003, as well as two Booker Prizes. Dr. Coetzee was born to Afrikaner parents and studied literature and mathematics at the University of Cape Town. He went on to earn a doctorate in the U.S. at the University of Texas at Austin, and he now resides in Adelaide, South Australia. A strong advocate for the animal rights movement, John Coetzee is vegetarian. He is also a patron of Voiceless, an Australian non-profit animal protection organization. He has highlighted animal cruelty and animal welfare in several of his novels, including The Lives of Animals, Disgrace, and Elizabeth Costello. In 2008, he wrote to the Irish Times newspaper to oppose the use of vivisection on animals at Trinity College in Dublin, saying, there is no good reason, in fact, there has never been any good reason, scientific or pedagogical, to require students to cut up living animals. The Lives of Animals, published in 1999, is a short novel which began as a tenor lecture on human values at Princeton University. Rather than presenting in the normal lecture format, Dr. J. M. Coetzee wrote a metafictional novella. The Lives of Animals is a powerful speech about the need for a change in consciousness in human attitudes and practices regarding animals. Dr. J. M. Coetzee tells the story of a famous fictional novelist named Elizabeth Costello. She is speaking at the fictitious Appleton College in Waltham, where her son, John Bernard, is an assistant professor of astronomy and physics. This short novelette features two lectures, after which there are discussions and questions and answers on the theme of animal rights. The audience is expecting Elizabeth to deliver a lecture on literature. However, Elizabeth Costello surprises them by speaking about the inhumane treatment of animals, describing it as a crime of stupefying proportions. Her first lecture is entitled The Philosophers and the Animals. She reasons that humans deliberately choose not to extend their sympathetic imaginations to animals, even though they are capable of doing so. She asks her audience to follow their hearts while thinking about animal rights. Following her presentation, Elizabeth Costello is challenged by the guests, with reactions ranging from skeptical to sympathetic. The exchange is about sensibility and how difficult it is to awaken someone to abandon a flawed position and adopt another. The second lecture is called The Poets and the Animals. Elizabeth explains her interest in poetry that does not try to find an idea in the animal, but instead the record of an engagement with him. She states that when poets talk about animals, they frequently just use them as stand-ins for human qualities. The rest of the book debates, can animals speak? What might death mean to them? Elizabeth Costello presents various points of view on the moral status of animals. She focuses on the fact that animals, like humans, have bodies with feelings and senses. On the basis of this similarity, animals should be given the same rights as humans. 
Dr. J. M. Coetzee writes, "What then is the motivation for thinking our way into the lives of animals, if not morality?" In addition to addressing animal rights, another valuable theme in the lives of animals is the nature of communication. Elizabeth Costello had difficulty communicating with members of her family. Moreover, she has difficulty looking another human in the eye because of their cruelty toward other living forms. As she explains, those who partake in consuming meat. Are also partaking in a gigantic crime taking place in slaughterhouses, farms, and laboratories across the world. She believes that slaughtering animals harms our morality and spirituality, obstructing our connection with one another. In one scene, Elizabeth Costello calls her son in the middle of the night to explain why she wants to construct. A demonstration slaughterhouse made of glass," she says. "It occurs to me that people tolerate the slaughter of animals only because they get to see none of it." Meanwhile, as other characters in the novel question and challenge Elizabeth's point of view, the lives of animals offers a well-rounded and perceptive analysis for readers who are contemplating animal welfare and ethics. Elements of philosophy, literature, and deep human conviction unite in this prized literary work, as Dr. J. M. Coetzee uses this debate format to present his own beliefs on an ethical reorganization of human relationships with animals. The short story encourages self-reflection with prose, painting poignant pictures we can all relate to. Dr. J. M. Coetzee invites philosophers, novelists, academics, scientists, poets, parents, children, and friends to answer pertinent questions: Are humans really any different to other animal species? Why do we treat animals the way we do? Many points are considered as both sides are presented in this clever and creative dialogue. Fascinating and thought-provoking, the lives of animals, and certainly does justice to Dr. J. M. Coetzee's legacy as a storyteller and philosopher. To present a powerfully poignant discussion on animal rights, Dr. Coetzee has used fiction to draw the reader into Elizabeth Costello's compassionate world, love of animals, and sense of morality. The reader becomes absorbed in a drama reflecting the real-life situation. That this literary masterpiece was created to be delivered as an emotionally charged lecture at the prestigious Princeton University is simply ingenious. Interestingly, the actual tenor lecture given by Dr. J. M. Coetzee. Was followed by responses very similar to those in the story of Elizabeth Costello. The reader is treated to a variety of perspectives from notable thinkers in different fields. The introduction of the book is given by political philosopher and president of the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Amy Goodman. The responsive essays are by Shining World Compassion Award laureate Professor Dr. Peter Singer, author of Animal Liberation and Moral Philosopher. Primatologist Dr. Barbara Smuts shares her mutual understanding, friendship, and emotions with baboons and the dogs that have been in her life. Religion scholar Dr. Wendy Doniger states how humans justify their cruel mistreatment of animals because they think they are better. The book challenges rigid moral thinking and explores the social consequences. During an interview with animal protection organization Voiceless in 2018, Dr. J. M. Coetzee said. Works of fiction, whether novels or plays or films, have a long and proud history of providing us with avenues by which to explore real-world issues, and specifically the human dimension of real-world issues. 
asked what inspired him to write The Lives of Animals, Dr. J. M. Coetzee replied that he realized that the word human was redundant in the title of Princeton University's Center for Human Values. Thus, he wanted to draw attention to animal values. Human beings must treat animals with respect. As entertaining yet insightful creative works such as The Lives of Animals help open minds to the cruelty-free vegan lifestyle, may we soon herald a vegan era in which all beings may thrive in peace. During a speech given in 2007 for the exhibition opening of Voiceless, Dr. J. M. Coetzee said, Steadily we are making progress. In a future that is not unforeseeable, animals of non-human species will be born into a world in which they stand a fair chance of living a life that is happy by their own standards and fulfilling. We truly look forward to that day and we thank God for all the progress being made around planet Earth towards a vegan world. For more information on the lives of animals, please visit press.princeton.edu forward slash books. It's been a pleasure to have your company today, gracious viewers.